Hello everyone, welcome to a new adventure in a Raven monologue, which is a silent story game about a raven who doesn't know how to croak and doesn't know the people in his town. And I'm just reading that off of the website because I didn't really know what that meant and I don't know if it's going to become more clear as we play this game, but what drew me to this was one of its features, which is hand-drawn art, which I really love. I played a couple of games with hand-drawn art in them, and it just adds this feeling to the game that I love, and god, this soundtrack is so amazing! Oh, They really nailed the atmosphere, and I'm just on the intro screen to the game. I cannot wait to get into this and learn its story. I don't know if I really played sound story games before, maybe a couple that you could constitute as such, but not really ones like like this. Oh, it's just got it's, it's already gotten me into a certain feeling of the game, a very somber, calm feeling. And I wonder what this story is going to be about. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Raven. I love your top hat. Who is that at our door? Why do we have a cage? I don't know if this is based off of anything, but who are you? I said there was an endless amount of interaction in this world that we could do. So I guess we have to kind of explore the story for ourselves to really figure stuff out. Hello, can I open the door? No. Okay, well, you're kind of just sitting out there, which is a little strange, but I won't judge. I'm Mr. Raven. So I'm assuming there's nothing to really interact with on this screen. What's next? Ooh. Oh! They gave us flowers! What's oh, so pretty? Hello, thank you. Can I interact with you at all? I don't really know how to interact. Aw. They came just to give us flowers. So is this like a love story? Who is this person? Oh, We grabbed the flower. Okay. Why do our fingers look like that? I mean, I'm not judging. You're a really nice person, Mr. Raven, but... It's a little weird way to grab the flowers. Oh, we put it in our cage. I don't know what that symbolizes. Maybe that our love is locked away? Or maybe that's just the only place we could have put a flower. I don't really know how deep I have to dig for this game. Where are we going? Oh my god, the scenery is so gorgeous. I love it. Where are we going? Why didn't she come with us? Where are we taking this flower? What happens if I just let it go for a while? What do we do we find anything out the story and that we wouldn't have otherwise? I don't really know. I just kind of want to see the background for a while. I love it. I want to see what happens next. Hello, who are you? Can I interact with you? You have a very nice plant plant on your your shoulder. Um My name is Mr. Raven. What's yours? Oh, so you have a plant and I have a flower. Am I offering a trade? Don't trade away your, your flower. That's a symbol of love. She gave it to us. Us, particularly. Or maybe everyone needs a little bit of love, so we're going to give everyone like a little petal from it, you know? What is this? We took it. Or we're just going to take his flower. Okay. Oh, we added it to ours. Oh, that's lovely. So we added it to our collection of flowers. So pretty. I don't I don't know why people are just giving us plants, but I don't know. Maybe it's oh, maybe this is symbolizing us getting to know the folk in our town by each giving us something they tell us a bit about themselves. Aw. Hello. Give us a stick. Okay. Thank you for your stick. I appreciate it. I will take very good care of the stick. It will be in the most top condition. All right, I will water it every day. I, I will take great care of this stick. Look, it's so happy with its friends. We're painting like a beautiful scenery in our, our cage. So we're just like walking around collecting all the stuff, but what is... What does that in self symbolize? Is, is everything in this game supposed to symbolize something? I don't really know. I don't know what the meaning behind all of this is. Oh, is that is that the person who is at my door? No, is that a different person? I think that's a different person. Hello, person. Wait, oh, they have a pinwheel. Can we 
Interact with it? No. I want to interact with stuff. She looks kind of scared. Um, I don't know how I'd feel if a giant raven came up to me with a stick and a couple of flowers and offered a trade, or not really a trade, just kind of wanted something from me. Oh, oh, are we... Oh, she gives us the pinwheel. Oh. So lovely. Thank you. Can we take it? Hey, oh! Why would why do these people just keep giving us stuff? For for nothing in return. I'm not I'm not so used to this sort of kindness. It's strange. I fear it. What is this? I took the pinwheel. What does that mean though? Wait, I can't go can't go forward anymore. So what do I do? What do I do? Do I go back? Whoa, what? Huh? What is this? It's like a rock. What if I go forward again? We're back to the pinwheel. So we're going backwards now? Okay. Oh, what? Where? where the, the girl turned into a rock. What kind of sorcery is this? Excuse you. What? Is everybody going to be different? Everybody's a rock. And we're offering them their thing? I don't really understand. Maybe... Is this kind of showing that we didn't really learn anything about the people in our town? Oh, it looks like Mr. Raven's sad. Maybe it's because we didn't really connect with anybody. Maybe we didn't take the right message from them. Oh, Our love has turned into a rock. I, that's very sad. I don't think you can be in love with a rock, but what do I know? Oh, Aww. Aww. We're stuck with all of these plants and everything, but everybody we knew Everyone in our town has turned into a rock. Maybe this does symbolize it's it's not about what you give, it's about who you connect with and the friendships rather than what you can gain from the friendship. I don't really know. I don't know what kind of message this game is trying to to get across, really. We got all of these things to fill up our basket, but in turn we lost all of the people who we could have connected with. Oh, no! All of our flowers, so it was all for nothing! Oh, we're left with nothing! Nobody! No flowers, anything! Oh, no! That was so sad! So, the game's page starts with this poem, and I don't know if this poem can shed any light on the game, but, dear Sir Raven, do you still wander around without end, crafting colors under the still and silent, not knowing I'm waiting here alone without a friend? Dear Sir Raven, when you're around, would you mind to stop by? Just a low, just a moment, to let me savor the memories before our goodbye. Dear Sir Raven, let us go home to the place devoid of reality frame, where I shall watch over us even without a logical form. So, maybe that is talking about the friendship that we lost, and that even though the people turned into this rock thing, which I guess could be the without a logical form part of it, they're still there with us. And maybe that talks in turn about the inability to understand the relationships between Mr. Raven and the people in the town. I don't really understand the not knowing how to croak part because I'm assuming they're using that as a word to die, which maybe means he doesn't know how to cope with death because it seems like maybe the people in the town passed on and he's still there wandering without any friends. It seems like no matter how I interpret this game, it is just sadness 
with no real happy ending for Mr. Raven here. So I'm really curious to see what your guys' thoughts are on this game and how you interpret the story. And I'm honestly curious of how the game developers were interpreting this or if they were just going off of the poem or what their thoughts were when making this. Because like I said, there wasn't really much in the description page to really go off of compared to the actual gameplay. So I'm really curious of what their thoughts were when making this and how they differ from mine and how they differ from your guys. So let me know what you think about the game. But this game was just so beautiful and well made. I love it. And I, I'm really curious now listening to the song. Does that have anything to do with the story? I haven't really been paying attention so much to the lyrics, but I don't know. It, it adds to the atmosphere, that's for sure. That's to the tone of the game, but I'm not sure if it adds to the meaning. Maybe if you look at the song lyrics and the poem and the story itself, maybe those pieces can give you some semblance of the story, but either way, thank you all so much for joining today's adventure and a Raven monologue. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoyed the essay as well. And I hope to see you in your next adventure. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.